you know, first thought to mind was political signs, uh, but all they're good for anyway. <laughs> Square County Homestead. Today we're going to be making a quail hutch. It's not going to take us just a few minutes, a few basic materials. I'm going to go over the materials and the tools real quick. So here's our tools. We got scissors, zip ties, tape measure, and I'm using a sawzall with a metal blade. You can use a hacksaw or even bolt cutters. Uh, we'll get more into that. But here's the actual material. Now this, all this is shelving material for closets, okay? You can get this at a lot of your hardware stores. So this is half inch. See, it has half inch wire in there. Half inch gaps right here. This is 20 inches wide. You see it's 20 inches. Now this is one inch gaps and 12 inches wide okay so this is going to be our side walls this is going to be our floor and another one identical to it is going to be our top so on a 20 inch deep ones we've got two of these and these come in six foot lengths actually they actually come in uh 12 foot lengths but six foot is more manageable so this is you're going to need three of these 12 inch pieces so 12 inch by six foot, 20 inch by six foot. So I'm gonna show you real real quick how, how easy, how simple, how quick it is to put this hutch together. All right, so here's our first step. Now this is gonna be our side wall, right? Now this is very critical. See that? That right there needs to come to the back. It don't need to go underneath or over top. We're gonna line it straight up. We're gonna use some zip ties. And I'm using black zip ties. It don't matter what color you use, but I'm using them, the black ones so they show up a little better for you so you can kind of see what, what we're doing here. Sometime, you'll take these zip ties, make some bends, bend them and squash them like this. See how they do there? Sometimes it makes it a little easier. Especially if you don't have anybody helping you by yourself. Now I only put like five of those zip ties through here, but just make sure this is not overlapping this or this is underneath it needs to be side by side next step here's our, our actual top this is another 20 inch piece just like the just like the flooring would be now we're not going to do it side by side like this it's going to look a little awkward at first but We want that to come to the back, just like this. We want this to overlap this wall. Go ahead and put you a few more zip ties, just connecting the two. Okay, so I've got like four zip ties on, on that. So what I'm going to do now, what I've done, let me grab this piece. That's a piece of our 12 inch tall stuff. This is actually like 19 inches. Now, this is just our end cap, that's all this is. Now I want this lip here to be on top of our floor. 
I don't want it underneath. You'll, you'll find out why here shortly. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna zip tie the back wall to this end cap and our top to this end cap. Now on this, we're gonna do this to both ends, okay? Just do that to both ends. Now on this end cap, we're gonna do the same thing to both, both ends down here. When you're connecting to the actual floor, we're gonna cinch one down real tight back here, okay? Or two, however many you feel comfortable with. Actually, I'm gonna pull it out so I can work on it, okay. So we're gonna cinch this down. Now, we got this corner cinched down tight. This one, I'm gonna just barely click his zip tie. But we can make some adjustments later on. I just wanna get it started, that's all I wanna do. All right, there it went. Do the same thing on the other end. Okay, so we got, I got both end caps. Let me show you what's gonna happen. See how that's, we're letting that floor be at an angle. That's going to be our rollout, our egg rollout bottom there. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the other 12 inch piece for the door. I'll show you what we're going to do there. All right, so we're about to start on the little door, but you can tell this kind of sags right here in a little bit. But once I go, and I'm going to hang mine, hang it up with a chain. Once I hang that, this is not going to sag. Uh, now, what you can do, you can take some more of the 12 inch and you can make dividers, okay? If you want to half this up, or you can make one foot sections for breeder stock, okay? Breeder hutches, you make one foot pieces. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay this door up there. All right, so I'm going to put my door on. So here's another 12 inch piece. I just got the uh, the lip coming out toward me. Now, I'm gonna sit here and I've already got mine marked out. Two foot mark, I'm gonna make a door. At the four foot mark, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make two cuts. Two foot mark, four foot mark. When I do that, it's gonna give me three doors. Now you can do it every one foot, if that's, it don't matter. You can make just one big door, if that's what you wanna do. So my reason for it is, this, is going, this one is gonna basically be a grow out pen, but it's gonna be versatile. When I get it hung, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let me get these cut and I'll come right back. So here's my two foot door. Like I said, the ledge or the lip, can y'all see the lip? I'm gonna bring it to the outside toward me. Now you can cheat it over a little bit, but we just need we just need a tiny gap between each door, right? Just for it to open. Now I'm not gonna just cinch these down super tight on the doors. And I'm probably just gonna put a couple. Eh, maybe <clears throat> Maybe a uh, three per door. Okay, got the zip ties on the doors. Uh, now was, is going to be the time where I'm going to actually put more of my zip ties. If I want to add a few more, whatever I want to do. So here's the only reason why we need the scissors. You cut all that excess off. Okay, so I told you I'd have to show you once I got it home. This is how we hang it. We do have a video on how we hang wire cages. But this is why we left that zip tie loose right there. 
Now we've got where it can roll the eggs. And we got a little test subject here. So we just put, this is actually just half inch pipe. It's not even glued together. We just got it stuck in there and zip tied because I'm gonna show you something else. So it rolls fine. Now, <clears throat> what you want to look at is how much of a gap. And that's a pretty big gap. So all we're going to do, we're going to cinch that up some. Okay. And that's still plenty. So that's if you got egg layers. So here's a simple solution. What we, we're gonna do, because we don't have big layers yet, what we do with are all over here in this, this expensive unit. By the way, this is the same size as this one and this second one. So show you what we're gonna do with ours. So if you get just using this as a grow out, you can either cinch this all the way up and it would suck up to there. Or you can actually just take, I'm sorry, take uh, our egg rail, just take it completely out. So I think I'm just gonna take it completely out for now, see how that works. We're just gonna cinch that all the way up. So the way we're gonna do this, our first and last door, we're actually gonna just take a zip tie and we're gonna zip tie them shut because I'm not gonna have any dividers in here. So this will actually be the only door we actually use because in the middle, we can reach anything on either side. And then I'm just gonna take this little deal here and that'll be our latch to hold, hold the door in place. Or put it in a locked position. Here's another idea. You can get your uh, <clears throat> some type of sign. You know, first thought to mine was political signs, uh, but all oh, they're good for anyway. Take them, cut them to length, and they would slide right in here to make dividers. Okay, which side you gonna get on? Okay, so just cut them to length, and you can take them, zip tie them wherever you need them. Pretty cheap divider. Like so. All right, so really the cost of this this deal here, everything with zip ties and everything at the most is eighty dollars. Okay, pretty good deal, you know, eighty bucks. The biggest thing for me, ten minutes. I can build that in ten minutes easily. Now it took longer because I'm having a video and all this, that, and the other. We just put it together. Ten minutes is all it takes. And quite are doing fine. It's feeding time. I gotta get some feed in there too. Uh, it takes them a couple hours to acclimate to walking on wire rather than being in that brood. But they've adjusted well. You know, we've watched them, keeping an eye on them. They seem happy, they're talkative. You can hear them back here. So, <clears throat> in the upcoming weeks, we're gonna put automatic water in here. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make a poop catcher in here. Uh, we're gonna build another one. We're gonna show you how we stack them. Now this system here, you could build a wood frame and just slide the whole deal in there. Uh, make it your own, you know? Make it work for what works for you, whatever your situation is. Any attaboys, criticisms, comments, leave in that comment section. As always, we appreciate you watching.